Jessica. It's Thursday, December 8th. I got off work a little early today, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlogmas today and catch you up on my week. It's been a hectic one, um, but since it's light out, I thought I'd have you do chores with me. So you can see the ladies are anxiously waiting in the background. And then the boys are starting to zoom in on me, waiting for their food. I got the grain bucket up there. They see that, they all come running. The moon the last couple nights was really bright and I was hoping to get some footage of it tonight. I took pictures on Tuesday, I'm like, why didn't I do some video? But I did not, but I'll show those pictures I took at the end of the video. Um, hello. Oh, it's so nice to see everybody in the daylight. When I get home at night, they're not very active. They're kind of just chilling. They eat their supper, they go back to chilling, but they're all up and about today. Decided to feed the alpacas in their barns tonight because we've got some winter weather coming. We're supposed to get anywhere from three to five, two to five inches of snow. Yesterday they were forecasting five to eight, so at least the amount's gone down. And it's not that the snow bothers them so much. Bye, Andy's. Go enjoy your supper. Um, just don't want all that hay to get buried under under the snow and be wasted. So I'm just giving the boys some water right now. And Jack, of course, is helping me with chores. Or, I should say, he's supervising chores. Well, there's the big guys. Chowing down. Hey, boys. Hey, fill up your water bucket. So, yeah, it's only got about halfway filled the one. I need to go get more. I'll be back. Just the girls left to feed. Hi, ladies. How's it going? Make sure that none of them try to sneak out the gate here. Some of these little stinkers were getting close. Hungry ladies? Mm -hmm. I gave them fresh water this morning, so they still got plenty that'll last them through tomorrow. Even though it's tempting to refill their buckets, because I don't know how much snow we'll get. But um, as long as it's not a foot, I should be able to fill their buckets actually a little easier tomorrow. Right? Grab some hay for the kids' table. They have their own little corner here. Oh, I should have turned the light on in the barn. Didn't think to since it's still light outside. That's why I've got the separate area for the littler ones. Alright. So I'm going to head in the house now and I'm going to show you what else I've been up to this week. Oh boys. They're just messing around. First, Kristoff was on top of Charlie. And then Hamilton decided to join the party. And now those two are fighting. This is normal behavior for males. Nothing to worry about. 
They like to rough hounds just like all males do. And now they're calm down. <laughs> Jack, do you think you're the referee, huh? Do you think they stopped because you were yelling at them? Mm hmm? All right, boys, you behave yourself. Mama's going in the house. Okay? I'll see you in the morning. Mm. It's gonna snow tonight. Are you ready? Did you have something you wanted to say, Chris? Huh? Well, that was rude. Yeah. See you later. Hello, everyone. It's Thursday. I think I already said that earlier. It's Thursday, but it's my Friday. I have a three-day weekend this weekend. Yay! I'm so excited. So it's been a busy week. And my cat is playing with his little toy. And that's the noise you're hearing in the background. Um, but anywho, I've worked all week. Um, today I got to leave work a little early. And um, it's been busy. So... <laughs> this is the first day this week that I didn't have somewhere to go or do something to do after work. Um, Monday, I had to go to the feed store to get feed for the alpacas and um, get there. And normally I get three bags at a time. They only had one in stock. And I asked if she knew when they were going to get more in. And she said, well, I just checked their website and... They don't have any, the company that sent, they buy their feed from didn't have any in stock. So when I got home, I ordered some food from Chewy. Um, the last time I ordered it took about a week to get here, but it came yesterday. So now I've got plenty of food to get me through the next couple of weeks. Um, but it's a different brand, so I'm mixing the food. I don't like to change their diet that abruptly. Um, Tuesday... I took my car in for an oil change. I dropped it off before work, and then after work, I took a shuttle out to the car dealership and got it, and had to get some groceries. So I, by the time I get, got home, or got done with chores Thursday night, it was seven o'clock. Tuesday night was so beautiful. That's the night, I'm gonna show you the pictures at the end here. Um, the moon was so bright, I didn't even need my headlamp. So I took a bunch of pictures of the alpacas and the moon over the barn. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so bright though, it's like, but yet you can still see my yard light in the pictures. Like it's one of those times I wish I didn't have one of, have one of those yard lights. No, most of the time I appreciate it. It comes in really handy. But that night I'm like, oh, I wish that wasn't in my picture. It's kind of, you know, obscuring the light from the moon. But the pictures turned out so clear on my new phone. It's like you can even see the stars in the sky. It was beautiful. Oh. Um, I was hoping to actually record some video footage tonight, but like I said earlier, we're supposed to get some snow tonight, so the clouds have all moved in. It's kind of foggy. It's only going to get worse as the night goes on. Um, Wednesday was a fun night out. Uh, my friends from work and I, we went out for supper, and then we went to see the musical Elf at the um, theater in Albert Lee. And in a fun fact, Marion Ross um, from... Happy Days, she was Mrs. Cunningham, if you're old enough to have watched that show. Um, if you're not old enough, you maybe know her from Gilmore Girls. She was Graham, also known as the first Lorelei or Trix. Um, but the theater in Albert Lee is the Marion Ross Theater, named after her since she is a, an Albert Lee girl. Um, but we had a fun night. Uh, it was nice to have a change of pace where we actually got to spend time with each other outside of work. Uh, Really, really nice. We need to do those kinds of things more often. Um, let's see. Project news. I've made good progress on my second mitten. I'm working on the thumb gusset. That's what's between these two stitch markers there. Um, I've finished clues one and two. I should have gotten these out before I started the video of the gnome mystery knit along. Clue three came out Monday and clue four came out yesterday. So I'm going to work on those tonight. But here's clue one, a little scarf. And most of the people frayed these ends. I'm, 
I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do that or if I'm just going to block it and have them lay flat. But it'll look probably better if I do fray them. And then clue two was a little hat. Isn't that cute? This gnome, I have a feeling, is going to be super duper cute. I'm so excited about it. And I can't wait to show you the next two clues tomorrow. Um, then on the January month to month, I've made excellent progress on that as well. Got quite a few of those snowflakes done. I got the entire word finished. I've got my cross stitch group on Saturday, so hopefully I get to go to that. Silent Night. Here's the pattern. And here is my progress. Also this week, I finished an audiobook. I started this series, it must have been two years ago, because it's a three book series and she puts out a book, um, it's a trilogy, and she does a book once a year. Okay, let's just knock some stuff off of my table here. Um, so that was the Dragon Heart series by Nora Roberts, and if you like fantasy romance novels, it's, it's really good. I've actually attempted to listen to it over again, but I really like that series. Um, I like Nora Roberts' trilogies. I think they're like, rom are, Fairy tales for grown-ups. They're so fun. Um, and if you like like the Harry Potter series or any kind of stuff that's got mis fantasy stuff, magic, you would like this series. Um, I listen to it. I don't read a whole lot anymore, um, mainly because by the time I used to always read before I went to bed. And now by the time I go to bed, I'm too tired to read. So I've really gotten into audiobooks, and if it's a good voice actor, which this actress was fantastic. I mean, she was doing male voices, female voices, Irish accents, and both male and female. Wonderful, wonderful voice actress, and that makes all the difference with the audiobooks. My plans for tonight, I'm excited to watch the um, Harry and Meghan docuseries. Um, I've always really been into royal watching. It's just, it just fascinates me. Ever since I was a kid, one of the first famous people that I ever looked up to was Princess Diana. And so, of course, watched those boys grow up. And I'm interested to see this and see what it says. Um, the stuff, um, the people that have watched it that um, follow or that are fans of Meghan and Harry have said it's really good. Of course, People who are not fans of Meghan and Harry have nothing but negative things to say. But I'm interested to watch it. It looks like it actually is showing, you know, like the stuff we've all been curious about since they got together. It's like, it sounds like they talk about their first dates. Um, uh, lots of pictures of their children, which, you know, they're pretty, they haven't shown a lot to the public about their children, but they, they're doing it in their own way. So I'm interested to see that do that and knit and depending on what time I get done with those maybe catch up on some of my vlogmases that I like to watch so I will be back tomorrow with some more footage see you then